So an exciting day. The roof is going up. Yeah, we're way up there. Almost nine feet. Yeah, that's awesome. We had a major change come about. She wants to move the tub here. Okay, where's the toilet gonna go? We can do an ash hole in the bottom or we can build a whole wall and make a, like an ash flue. So have we checked the flue itself? We've seen major progress at the Center Hall rebuild project. By March, many of the original walls had been torn down. And by April, the extended back of the house had been framed. But the project hasn't been exactly problem-free. After discovering major problems with the existing foundation. Yeah, you can see that crack right, right. here. This is where this beam's sitting on yep. it. All this bad insulation was kind of covering up all this rot they had okay. in here. It was decided to re-pour and rebuild the foundation from scratch. So it's always exciting when things start getting framed up. I drew this project in 2019 and now we are in 2023. So this has been a long time coming. You can see the front yard is obviously a mess. There's our chimney that's become quite famous along the street of the, uh, the ruin that was left, but now we're getting everything up and running. Um, so they just finished that slab up in the front and that's gonna be the front porch is gonna be above there. So I am standing right now in what is going to be the dining room. And as I'm walking through, this is going to be our center hall. Um, we had a major change come about, which I woke up early in the morning, worried about the height of the windows that Ryan and I just went over. Um, and we're going to try to increase the height of the windows because we increased the ceiling height from 10 feet to 11 feet, which is 11 feet is a much more standard New Orleans height. Actually, the most standard New Orleans height is more around 12 feet. So it's exciting to see it go up to 11 feet. So anyway, walking through here, this is going to be a bar and this is going to be the secondary entrance where this is the mud room and we're going to have a set of side stairs coming down here. And then keep walking through here. We're in the kitchen and these are going to be three triple windows for the kitchen. And these are our openings for going into our living room. And we have this huge cased opening here. And then I walk back through the center hall and this is gonna be the breakfast room. And then I look down this way and that'll be going into the primary bedroom suite. So super exciting. They'll be up to the second floor by next week. All right, so an exciting day. The roof is going up. So I want to get up there to the second floor and see how it feels. Up on the second floor. This is facing the front of the house. So this is going to be the stairwell. Where you can see you come up those stairs, you enter into a nice big den got storage pieces up into those eaves. Eventually they want a frame possibly for a future elevator. So I would have just come up the stairwell and there's gonna be three big windows here. And then if we come this way, this is gonna be a guest room. That's gonna look out onto these eaves of the house over here. So this will be a great little guest room suite with the bathroom up in this area. We're gonna have to raise that chimney up and then you're gonna come through this center hall. We're doing a really steep roof slope which is a 12 on 12 back here and 10 on 12 up in the front so that we can get that increased head height and all through here we've got a 10 foot head height. We actually had it 10 foot 6 and to make more economy we changed it to studs because they came in a pre-cut 10 foot length so we went 11 foot pre-cut length on the first floor 10 foot pre-cut length on this floor 
But I think these rooms are really feeling good. That'll be the entrance to the closet. This will be another great bathroom. Looks good. So it's also great. I know we do so much interior design and all those things, but you know, it's really nice to see how all this framing goes up. Super excited to see it. The next day, Wendy meets up with the contractor, Ryan, to go over the construction progress. They need to figure out if they have enough head clearance in one of the bathrooms. Yeah, the front of the wall. So the question is, do we have room for a toilet to sit? I think code is 6-8. Oh, yeah. I'm standing here right now. Yeah. So right now you have a seven, eight. Code at the back of a toilet is 5 foot. The back, but I think in front it has to be 6-8. Six, 6-8. Six six, so this is the front of the toilet. Yeah, we're way up there. Nine, uh, no, I'm sorry, eight, almost nine feet. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll do a little five-foot alcove for the tub here. The client has modified some of Wendy's initial plans. We'll put a wall here, and we'll put a sliding door in there. She wants to move the tub here. Okay, where's the toilet going to go? Right here. See the little toilet in red? Do the walls, obviously that wall goes away now. Yeah, this just becomes part of this closet. It's just a weird little... Yeah, kind of like the side. Yeah, exactly. All right, when we have those revisions. Okay. I, I can leave this with you. I'll draw it up too, but at least... Draw it up. I'm just going to tell them not to touch this Just touch this area. area. Okay. The workers on this very busy job site continue with the framing. And Ryan and Wendy hold a quick meeting to go over the fine details needed to make Wendy's plans into a reality. So can we put the panel just somewhere? Yeah, yeah, we can put it in here. Yeah. Look how long these joysticks are. I mean, they are so long. This is where our range is going to be, right? Mm -hmm. So I figured we had to, that the duct work would have to come up through here. And we may need a box around yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. Raising the ceiling height creates another issue at the back of the house, where Wendy has designed a beautiful covered porch. So... When we, rate, when we picked up this wall, we picked up the entire soffit with us. Okay, right. So, in order for me, and there's the beam right there. Right. So that's very close to that, as I mentioned, one at 10, nine or something, I think. We'd have to raise these beams up, and we're about four inch step down. So we'd have to raise this beam up, um, in order for that beam to fall within the 16 inches, it's gonna to have to be higher than that 10 foot. Nine. Uh, nine dimension. So you're showing higher. Yeah, because in the model, I was, I was worried that we were too high. So what, now that it's gotten framed, we're... Well, the beam is not supported by columns yet. And I'm wondering if I could pick it up and put it on top of the double plate over there. Okay. See how it's sitting on the yeah. below? We haven't, yeah. we haven't put all the... Right. I don't need it yet to support it. Right. Um, I mean, I'm just thinking of easy things to do. Maybe we could... Yeah, because it's like that trim work then becomes the pediment that works around the porch. So, yeah, if we can pick it up and get it to all align, I think it would look nice. Yeah. I know, Ryan, you, you're making my stomach turn. <laughs> I think if we get that on top, it's going to be very close to that 16 inch. Okay, great. No, if you don't think about it, when you start thinking about it, it's like, oh. With the issues mostly settled, Ryan and Wendy move on to a meeting with Matt. Matt is a brick mason tasked with adding on to the existing chimney. So how much higher do you think we're going to go? See, you got another, you got almost another four feet to go to go right to the top of that plate. This is six, six roughly or something like that. And when you get up to that ridge... Four feet to the top. It is what it is. Yeah. I mean, the good thing you got your roof in place, I can measure. You know, we're gonna measure off of it. What is your near this going to be? I think just pl plaster. plaster. Yeah. Plaster inside also. Yeah. Um, we'll have to pour a new bottom. Bring that bottom up. Okay. And we can do just like they have, just an ash hole in the bottom, or we can build a whole wall and make a like an ash flue. Well, I can even put the ash dump on the outside. You can put it on the inside or outside. Probably inside, I would think, right? Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to go knocking through yeah. that brick on the exterior. I'd rather keep it accessible like it is down there. Yeah. And then, so have we checked 
the flu itself? Yeah, he's gonna try to take it out. It's cast iron and it's mortared in there, so it's kind of tough. Yeah, we'll be, once I get all that out, we'll be able to see it. Because I'm coming up here, I'm taking it all the way out to here. Okay, oh, I see. Because I gotta rebuild this thing. Okay. Because <clears throat> you're raising the height. Oh, okay. So the damper and everything's gotta come up. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out all this right here and rebuild the box back. And we think all this is fine mm -hmm. to hold the exist the new weight? Yep. Okay. We wanted to give you an update on the progress at the luxury condo renovation. In the primary bedroom, Seamstress Narses and Lindsay are hard at work. They need to prepare the custom-made curtains for hanging. These curtains took months to make, so the team has to make sure they look perfect for the client.